Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. We are looking at an ugly day in the markets on this Monday with the Dow now down more than 400 and 400 points. The Nasdaq, the biggest laggard on the day, down about two and a half percent here as we see a rotation out of tech. And Jared, I know you've been watching the market action very closely here. Facebook just getting hit today, not just because of the tech sell off, but because of the news that's been coming out, uh, particularly around this whistleblower. Yes, and I'm going to add a third thing to that list, which is that Instagram and Facebook are suffering outages. Uh, as many as 20,000 people reported uh, this on Down Detector. Anytime that happens, you'll see the stock take a small hit. But let's go to the Wi-Fi Interactive because this is a big one. Uh, Facebook down over 5% doesn't happen that often. Uh, it's the biggest hit this, talk, this stock has taken since late October of last year. So almost the worst day in one year. And I think the woes for tech in general today, and especially the mega caps, as you noted, a lot of these other stocks in the NASDAQ 100 are red or dark red. That's something to it. But the whistleblower commentary, uh, somebody who comes forward and uh, names themselves as a whistleblower, they put a face to that. Suddenly, the story gets ratcheted up in the national uh, conscious. And I think there is something to be said uh, for that story leading to the negative price action, or at least contributing to part of it that we're seeing today. Um, in general, we're seeing a bad day for tech. So let's check in on the semiconductor space, seeing a lot of weakness there. And NVIDIA, one of the uh, leaders in that space, that stock is down 5%, applied materials down over 3%. And seeing something similar in software, we're seeing Adobe down four uh, percent, Atlassian over three and a half percent, CrowdStrike that that uh, cybersecurity firm down five percent. So I've been tracking the weakness in not only semiconductors but also software over the last week or two. That's when they started rolling over, and that's just continuing. And it kind of feeds into the bond market here. I'm going to go over to the 10-year T-note yield and just uh, get an update on what's happening today. We saw it up as many as three basis points earlier. It's up one basis point now, but that usually lights a fire under the value stocks, energy and financials. Uh, and the, back, uh, the stocks that take a backseat are those growth stocks. So a couple more screens here. We do. I do want to check out the banking sector. Uh, and this is the energy, so we'll get to banking in a minute. Exxon is up more than 1%. By the way, crude oil, I'm looking at it. It is up 3% to the highest level uh, that we've seen since 2014. I'll be uh, doing a deep dive on the energy market at 2.30 p.m. today. And as promised, I do want to check out the banking sector before we go. So that has slipped. A lot of these stocks slipped into the red. JP Morgan down just slightly. But on this burst here, close to the open, it did record a record high, one of the few that I saw today. So interesting sector action. I will leave it to that. And you can <laughs> see only energy and utilities now in the green, Akiko. Yeah, and speaking of energy, of course, that getting a bump from uh, what we've heard from OPEC Plus, that they're going to be sticking to the agreement uh, to pump out 400,000 barrels uh, per day in November.